Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's me again, my Rintasako, your student life coach for your success here in Canada. If you are wondering if you really do have enough knowledge of staying here or coming here or how your life will be successful here in Canada while you are a student or after studying here in Canada, then probably you would want to stay because for today, we will be talking about the top 5 mistakes that most international students does here in Canada. I myself was an international student before and there are some mistakes that I wish I knew or someone have told me to. Things that I'll be discussing will probably help you develop your personal growth or just give you an idea on how to be successful here in Canada and adopt into the country. Mistake number one, rarely step out of their comfort zone. I know this is kind of difficult, especially if you're an introvert person, but you may want to overcome your problem of that because this will help you achieve a lot of things. Stepping out of your comfort zone will help you have networking. With all those networks, it could lead you to better careers or probably know some ideas on having a business and those stuff that you don't know, especially here in Canada. This will also lead you to know the culture of other countries like India, Pakistan, Vietnam, China, Malaysia, and so much more. You would love to taste their food how they dress. Other than that, knowing different cultures will help you adopt more and settle here in Canada because there will be lesser judgment on your side since you will understand why they act the way they're acting. We need to be open-minded and know that we all grew in different countries with different cultures. And stepping out of your comfort zone will help you be the best version of yourself. Try out things or apply that job that you think you are not qualified for because sometimes it's just you who's thinking you're not qualified but you will develop your skills and people will see that in you. Because growth happens when you do things that you are not qualified to do. So I hope once you arrive here, you'll stop overcoming your fear of stepping out of your comfort zone. Second mistake is lack of orientation. It will come in a question of, do you really know what is waiting for you here in Canada? You might probably have a lot of idea about applying starter permit or knowing how to become a PR. But how about life here in Canada? It is also about, did you really know what program you take? Did you know which career it would lead to? Or is it qualified for PGWP? Because there are programs that is continuing education, continuing studies, which is somewhere not qualified for PGWP. So you really need to know every areas from education, from staying here in Canada, from the language that they use, the culture, and so much more. This is really one reason on why I have started creating video and why I'm doing this student life coach because there are some experiences that I really hope someone have taught me and I wanted to share it to you. The thoughts will be like, what are the culture of Canadians? What words upset them? Or how you should talk here. Also, you might probably didn't know that you are qualified for some scholarships here in Canada. Those are a lot of information you should know because it will help you probably have a better budget or talk to people more nicely without offending them and those kind of things. This will help you also set a stage for a lifetime of learning and cross-cultural learnings. Also, you would be able to develop your speaking as well because when I first arrived here, I really, I am not that good in English. Like the way I speak, you'd really hear the accent even until now, but still I was able to develop it. I am always too open to talk to you or email me if you have any doubts on what waits for you here or what are the steps that you should do because I'll be glad to guide you. In line with that, you may want to join my FP community in which you can drop in your questions or probably talk to, to some students that are already in the group or you can just follow my TikTok or my YouTube or my Facebook where I usually post things. Third mistake is no study life balance. It's either you work too much or study too much or enjoy your life too much. Everything that's too much is bad for you. You need to know that you should have a balance between your studies and your work and your personal time because when you're here, it's not just about studying. It's not just about working. 
but you need to maintain the boundaries and limitations in life and like i always say it's okay to say no if someone have invited you and you think you need to finish your assignments then say no it's fine because education system here in canada is different from our country right and for some they work too much because they wanted to earn money for their tuition fee and to send back probably to family but just to let you know it might lead you to failing your program and here in canada not because you're a student you would be easily qualified to graduate or get post-graduation work permit you also need to know that there are some specific grades that you need to pass and there are also some rules with regards to post-secondary it's good to make sure that you'll not procrastinate or be frustrated and if you just miss your family talk to them or just pray or relax don't stress too much because things would always be better the fourth mistake is students don't participate in campus activities i always suggest for students especially whom i have known who came here to always join um, events or trainings because it will let you have networks and as well as develop your socializing skills your soft skills your personal development and you would probably be known by other organization or institution like in my experience i was sent to vancouver on my second month here in canada imagine i was just new here and i don't know how's life here in canada then suddenly they're telling me oh we'll send you to vancouver for a training and it's all free my accommodation my flight ticket those kind of stuff so it's really good to participate like but of course not everyone around you would agree for it some people have told me that why are you even participating in activities rather than working you're not gonna earn money from there but of course i need to listen to myself because i know what's better for myself so if you think that you're fine with not joining campus activities then that's your choice but i always highly recommend it because it's helping your personality and it's growing your network as well trust me you'll have fun with these campus activities and it's worth your time it's gonna cost your time but that time is investing for yourself the fifth mistake is listening to other people in terms of academics or your pathway to PR. It's better to ask an immigration consultant in terms of permanent residency, but it's also good to ask some questions with your friends, but don't let it choose a specific decision without looking into how it will help you. Always remember that everyone's experiences is unique. Everyone have a different scenario. We may be similar, we may be same age when we came here, we may be in the same program, we may have, you know, um, same background, but still we have unique scenarios and experiences. When I was um, in international department, most students have been telling me that, oh, I failed this, I registered in this course because my friend told me to register to this because it's easy, those kind of stuff. It's good to listen to someone and ask for advice, but for decision making, it should be on your own. You need to know what are the pros and cons of your possible decision. Always take note to not compare your situation to others because again, everyone has unique situations or scenarios. Even to PR, um, even if we have the same scores and those kind of stuff, we all have different immigration officers they all have different brains and different decision makings if you're just planning here to come here to canada i hope this have given you some idea on what steps you should do upon arriving here or probably when you have settled in and if you need any help with regards to letter of acceptance here in canada i have partnered with different colleges here so i may be able to help you secure a letter of acceptance for free all right, so that's it for today, and I hope you learned a lot today, and you can always email me at info at and I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!